Hey there, welcome back to the final part of this week's episode of Leading Our Own Way. I hope you found inspiration in our guest journey this week. Today, we'll leave you with some key takeaways and actionable insights that you can lean on. Now let's wrap up with some powerful lessons that can help guide you on your own path. Don't forget to tune in for a brand new guest next week on Monday. But for now, enjoy this week's. Please subscribe to the channel if you don't already as well. Have a great weekend. We'll see you soon. On when I started House of Leaders, I just want to start it as a blog, as a platform where I can share my journey. So usually I will post, like for example, I go home and then I will, you know, write down the story, like journal my story like today. And then I will think of a quote that relates to my story. And then I will create, like I will choose a picture and then I will um, edit the quote inside of it. And then I will put House of Readers credit and I will share my story in the captions. Like I will type a really long, long one. At first, I don't got a lot of engagement, but as it grows, I think a lot of people relate. I started getting like a hundred likes and 10, 10 to 20 comments for um, per post. And then the followers grows um, from less than a thousand to a thousand, two thousand, and finally ten thousands. And then finally, when I hit thirty thousands, the financial situation goes um, worse. And I was thinking of selling House of Peter because someone is offering like a few hundred um, dollars that time, US dollars. A few hundred dollars or a few hundred <clears throat> thousand dollars. A few thousand, uh, a few hundred dollars. A few hundred dollars. Yes. Oh, and right. that time, it's I think American dollars is eleven thousand. Now it's, it's fifteen thousand. That time is still eleven thousand. <clears throat> so. So they were they were offering you eleven thousand American dollars. No, no, no. Um, one dollars is eleven thousand Indonesian oh, rupee at that time. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, my bad. Yeah. So they were offering like a few hundred dollars, like I think a tweet four hundred. Yeah. So um, I almost sold it because my family needs money and even a bit helps. Mm -hmm. But there's a lot of people um, around me that keep reminding me, remember why you start House of Leaders. It's to inspire people that has the same problem as you so they can um, apply leadership in their life and had a better life. It's not to, you know, make money or whatever or sell this house of leaders. This is for you to make an impact. So I I don't I decided not to sell it. And then when Great it hits choice. sixty thousands, it goes even worse. Oh. And I but before I sell it, I you know, I ask uh, my friends again, my friends keep saying just, just you know sit tight yes yeah, sit tight when you hit a mm. hundred thousand things will change and i sit tight i i keep growing house of leaders um i every time i make a little bit of money i invest in house of leaders so we can get more exposure it can hit a uh, hundred thousand faster and it's true when i hit a hundred thousands um I start um, making money because I receive clients. I do shout outs for them and then they pay me money. And then I met a lot of amazing people who teach me how to run business on Instagram. I, uh, yeah, it's been amazing. And then a lot of people reach out to me and then I started a small community on how to build a, a page and account like Instagram that time. And then it grows bigger. I no longer can take care of it. And then someone tells me, I think you can start a paid community so you can hire people to help it grow it for you. You can teach, but to manage it, you can hire people to manage it for you. Um, and brilliant, you know how to, what Instagram, what an account on Instagram needs in order to grow. So you can simply, you know, hire people to build this program for you so you can even help even more people. And I love that idea, so I launched um, the company 
But when I launched the company, no one want to join. Only six people join out of hundreds of people. It's a rough start, but we finally gained like a thousand something members. We have helped like more, even more people. And it's been an amazing journey. Before, yeah, before the thing I do, uh, you know, I push my partner away and then they betray me because of what I did. So, yeah, that connects everything. Yeah, that's amazing. And look at it now. What What is the, what's the future for uh, House of Leaders then? What future projects do you have going on there to end, to make it grow even more? So we ever launch a few times community for House of Leaders, um, which mm-hmm. is paid one, so we can serve them better. But they don't want to join because I think it's the habit. We've been giving a free content on House of Leaders. Mm. And now we suddenly want to charge them. Uh-huh. They don't like it because they've been enjoying this free content for years. They don't want to be charged. And yeah. we do appreciate them. So now we are about two days. Yeah, two days from now, Saturday, we are about to launch a new community by House of Leaders, not House of Leaders. So it's a community that will help people to build their brands. It's like the old community where I helped people to build their Instagram account. But this time it's not just Instagram, but it's to build their brand as a whole. Um, as for House of Leaders, we will keep innovating. We will keep growing. Um, as you can see now, we now have news. We have, uh, we engage in stories. We do polling to know what our audience like more, prefer more, what kind of content they prefer more. So we mm-hmm. can make more of that. And well, I do receive a few offers from people who want to, you know, acquire House of Leaders. But this time, oh, wow. I, I'm so happy that it's no longer they want to buy House of Leaders, but they want to acquire House of Leaders, which means our level is higher now as a brand. Because yeah. they don't want to, bu- when you say I want to buy your page, it's buy your page. But it, I want to acquire, is acquire your business. So, as yeah, in take I, I over it. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so different story. I was pretty happy from that uh, for that. Um, I think we received quite a few offer um, a year ago, but after discussing it with the team and with my wife as the partner, we co-built House of Leaders now. Mm. We don't want to sell it because House mm. of Leaders has been our baby, it's been our life. I don't build this to you know make simply make money, but I want to impact people's life. I will always goes with my saying that as long as there's one people who feel it, liked it, comment on it, saved it, you know, I'll keep going. Because helping one people a day is more than that. That's 365 people a day. That's one people a day. Yeah. What, if, what about yeah. if we can help more? So, yeah, that's the future House of Leaders. We just want to focus on um, building this community this um, this year and focus on providing more and greater content for um, our audience on House of Leaders. And, well, we have a lot of things um, on our decks, that want, um, on our, is, is it decks or on our hand that we want to do? We want to offer more um, for our audience. We're still working on it though because everything, everyone's still new, and we want to keep the team small. Um, because when the team grow bigger, there's gonna be more drama. So we want to take it slower and keep the circle small because that ways it is strong, stronger. Then we can support more people because we want our team to grow too together with us. So, yeah, I think that's that's House of Leaders this year. It's beautiful, man. I, I absolutely love it. And you've actually had uh, quite a few um, significant people reach out to you. Um, one connected to the book, to my my left-hand side, uh, Limitless. The author is Jim Quick. Um, he has a very similar story with, uh, I can really, I think he relates to us two pretty well with, um, you know, 
but it was probably more your story. My bullying was happening as an adult, but for him, he was known as the the boy with the broken brain, wasn't he, at school because he fell back and hit his head against a radiator. Jim actually reached out to you. Can you? I mean, I know we've we've spoken for a very long time, but could you give a little a bit of a brief description about your encounter with Jim? Okay, so Jim is a really humble guy. Um, I think I forget when he reached out to me, to me, but first he reached out to me through House of Leaders. He says something like, um, "Hey, nice to connect with you here. Your success is well deserved. Oh. Hope to connect more with you in the future, something like that." And then I was surprised. Wow, Jim Quick is so humble that. He reached out to me first, and then I'll be connected. Um, so we we're co-elevating that time. Um, so Jim, that time is still twenty to thirty thousand followers. That time, and mm -hmm. House of Leaders shared quite a lot of Jim Quick's um, posts, content to help him grow his Instagram. But we love his content anyway, and. We agree with um, what he say and what he teaches, so we share it. We don't mind sharing it too. So I think it's both way it goes both way. We also share values and we also help him grow at the same time. We tag him, and then we chatted. Uh, we, we 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 continue chatting. And long story short, I just know that his family is also from Indonesia. And comes out his in he used to like if I think he is Indonesian, but he grows up like when he was a little kid he, he moves to the U.S. and then he grows up there. That's why he's in the U.S. now. And but there's connection between us. So from there, um, we share contact. Yeah, um, like we, we, we call, there's time when we call. I think he just finished a session of I forget what, but he says, like we share, um, I forget, I totally forget what we talk about, but he's really a humble guy. He's really kind. And mm. yeah, but I totally forget what we talk about. Yeah, but that's not, all right. Well, yeah. Yeah, no, I mean, I did um, his brain program when I bought the book. I did his brain program and uh, you could talk to mentors in there and you could talk and, and ask questions. And I, um, he responded to me. Um, it was a very quick answer. And I said, is this really Jim? Are, are you sure this is really Jim? <laughs> he said, no, no, it's honestly Jim. And I was like, oh, well, I hope it's not his secretary lying to me. And I hope it was really Jim. But it, yeah. So I would love to, I would, yeah, I would love to meet Jim. I think he's a, a, a special guy and I love, yeah. I've used a lot of his knowledge, a lot of his writings, even just the acronym of, of learning faster, F-A-S-T-E-R and what it stands for. I won't bore you with that now, but if you've not got it, definitely worth buying that book, everybody. But I, yeah, I, I teach that to the kids. You know, it's things like that. We should be teaching the kids, teaching the art of focus, teaching the art of learning and teaching it twice to learn it better. You know, all get in our state of mind and our active our active mate you know mind into into a paradigm where we can sit and focus and take it on and reading faster and it, i love it I, th I thought it was absolutely fascinating um anyway don't need to plug jim this is all about you and your journey um it, you know is if there was a, a piece of advice you could give people today then um uh, whether it's personal because your story's got multi facets to it we've talked deeply about your childhood and i think i think today's picture for the audience i think they're going to understand why you went down the road you went down to create house of leaders that's where i can connect with you because house of leaders for me where i do have my nurturing leadership podcast i'm all about the human side of the of, of leadership and i think that's where you're at too um, uh, so we are on similar paths. I know leading our way is completely different. It's more about sharing the stories of individuals, but nurturing leadership co-aligns with you. I could easily have you on nurturing leadership podcast and talk. Le Let's talk leadership all day. You know, I totally do that. That's a different subject, but 
yeah, I think people are going to take a lot away from you. And your. I, if I was going to sum this episode up and correct me if I'm wrong into one word, for me, it would be the big word that Jim talks about as well. M, motivation. I think the level of motivation you've, I think you've taken from your childhood scenarios and turned it into what you've produced. And I think if people don't fully understand what it is, I want people to go to your website. I want people to go to your Instagram page and check what you're all about because I've absolutely loved uh, being quietly following you from the sideline. And, you know, yeah, if you, sorry, I've gone off my question. If you could give one piece of advice to people in the world, whether it's personal, mental, or even just business related, what, what would you tell people? First of all, thank you for what you say. It really means a lot to me. Um, oh, no. So, I think what can I, what I can think right now is hmm. don't rush things. Hmm. And, well, you got to filter what people say because sometimes people say um, a lot of bad things that they don't mean. So don't mm. take it, don't take things personally and don't mm. rush things because five to 10 years from now, you will see that it's all going to be okay. It's all going to work out, but don't rush mm. things. Take one step at a time. My, my mom always, t- um, you know, tells me this, reminds me this. If you use the um, lift, to the top of the success, which means you go fast, you go up really fast. When you go down, it will also be really fast because you don't go through the hard times of learning on every single step when you um, go through that stairs of success. But if you go one stairs at a time, you learn. When you fall down, probably you will just fall down a few stairs and then, but you know, you are. You're tougher, you're stronger because you go through like that, you know, every single stairs of challenge. So when you fall down, you know, you will, you, you already know, you already go through this, you know, let's say you already in the 10 stairs and then you fall down to the six stairs, but you already go through the seven, the eight and the ninth. Then the end of the, so, so you know, you just have to go through it again, just climb back up, just have to come back stronger. So don't rush things. Just take one step at a time. Be conscious and be aware of your surrounding. Um, what else? What else? Um, and I think I'll add on, I'll add on to that if that's okay. Because mm-hmm. I'm gonna I'm gonna self reflect on for you. I'm gonna reflect. I'm gonna put you. In, I'm gonna give you feedback here. If I'm giving the audience a piece of advice based on what I've learned from you over the last. You know, we've become a little bit more personal over the last few weeks, but obviously we've been in contact for a while. But what I, if I'm going to tell people about you and give people advice based on you, just you and you're perfect at this. Just be authentic and just be you, man. You are you, and that's what I love about you, man. Your stories, you've just stayed. You've you learnt to be yourself. Yeah. Right. Would you agree? Yeah. yeah. I think you are. I think you're a genuine person. And um, hopefully people can, will see that and, and, and see that they can do things the right way and be successful at the same time and not have to stand on anybody's toes to get there like the majority, you know? And uh, that's what I love about you, brilliant. So, mate, thank you so much. Um, I did ask you to think about it and um f- first of all i do see my book at the side of your ear there i really appreciate that mate <laughs> the other side of you <laughs> thank thanks for purchasing but awesome. my book is about my book is about purpose um what would you say your purpose is oh he's looking for the book can you see it there brilliant yeah up on the shelf Where? mate <laughs> there's a lot of book here there is the blue one the blue one wait, wait. with the yellow bit of writing. Um. <laughs> there, yeah, yeah, yeah. Where your hand is? Right there. Wait, which one? The blue one where your hand oh. is. 
<laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Shut up. You're just being nice. Um, it, it, I'm all about purpose. What is your purpose? Brilliant. So my my purpose will always be the same when I started House of Leaders. It's to mm -hmm. inspire more leaders. And again, when I say leaders, I mean people who take charge of their life and see life from a positive point of view. Leaders can be a lot of things, but like be a leader in you. Bring that leaders out. It's always yeah. inside us already. We just have to bring like the real us out because yeah. we grow up a lot of our environment makes us like they create us into a new us. That's not us. Just be you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I and I like the way you say be authentic, be you. Mm. Brilliant. Thank you so much for joining us. It's been, I've learned a lot of you, a lot from you in this, this episode today. Um, thank you for what you're doing. Thanks for the message you're putting out there to the world. Thank you for being you. I am sorry that you've been through the things you've been through, but you know what? It, I think you've, you've been through it for a reason to go out there and help. And you are helping more than one person day. I guarantee it. You are helping 1.4 for those who are following you, but there's a lot more out there, mate. You, you're killing it keep killing it keep nailing it uh thank you so much from the bottom of my heart of appearing leading on our own way it means the absolute world to me um i'm so grateful that you responded to my message in all honesty well i thought it was oh you know what it's just going to be it I'll, I'll send him a message if he doesn't reply that's okay and you did and that really does mean the world to me so thanks for staying in touch and i uh you he, everybody's coming to Australia, so we're going to go and hang out. I, I hope to show you around Melbourne when you guys arrive. Please, So, you know, I hope you do anyway, mate. <laughs> I'd love to catch up with you. <laughs> My wife graduates from Melbourne, um, RMIT. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, RMIT, so, yeah. yeah. So it's going to be, yeah. Well, mate, I'd love to see you, and we'll, we'll catch up for sure. And, um, and um, yeah. Love to show you the great ocean road, the beautiful scenery that's just here on our doorstep. That would be amazing. But anyway, that's that's for the future. Thank you for appearing on Leading Our Own Way. And uh, thank you for be leading. And thank you for leading your own way. Um, amazing. Have a great time. And I um, will, we will we'll speak very soon. Thank you. Thank you for having me, Andrew. Uh, absolutely, man. Anytime. Welcome back on the show at any time. Take care, everybody. Tune in next week to the next week uh, to the next episode of Leading Our Own Way. We'll see you soon. Thanks for listening and watching Leading Our Own Way. So we can stay together forever and share more incredible journeys. Please subscribe to the channel. That way you won't miss next week.